this made. Okay, so we'll get right into it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to leave me a comment after watching this video. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Okay, what we've been making today is called Spanish rice. Okay, so this is my twist on Spanish rice. I am not Spanish and I'm not a chef, but I've had this recipe before and it was good. So I want to share it with you guys. Okay, so what we need is cooking oil. I have my cooking oil here. I have my spices or my, yeah, I'll say spices. It's onga basically. And I have um, garlic, ginger and onion blended with oil. I did not blend this with water. I blended it with oil. When you blend with oil, it actually makes it a little bit thicker, like it's less water. So when you're cooking it, it doesn't take time to cook properly. And then I have my tomato and pepper as well, blended with oil. Okay, so we'll just begin by stirring this thing. Very simple thing to do. It's basically making um, jollof without tomato paste. You know, it's basically that. So, just the oil. Now, this oil I used in frying my chicken. <laughs> so, yeah. That's the then we heat up a little. Then we put the rest of the ingredients in there. I also have the vegetables. What makes Spanish rice and jollof rice uh, different is they have the vegetable that they put on top of the rice after cooking the rice then you mix it up so there is a lot of vegetables that go in there now with jollof rice we don't add um, you can add vegetables if you want but these people specifically they don't add tomato puree and then they add the vegetables on top of the rice once the rice is cooked in the pan and then they mix it up you understand so that's basically spanish rice how it looks like so um we're going to do this and then we'll see the end results okay so you first of all put your onion garlic and ginger paste or yeah into it see how thick that is no water no, this is the part where I reduce my heat a little but you don't want it to bend. No water whatsoever. Just add a little more. Just blends in very well with that so you get the taste right from the get go. You taste it, you can taste it right from the get go. See how thick this is as well. You know, tomato already has water in it. But some tomatoes are really hard that you might have to add extra water to it. I just put in oil and then blend it. Because we don't add tomato paste, um, you will not get the the color that you get for jollof. So we we'll leave it to simmer for some time. Let me taste it. 
to be thick you know before you put in your rice or before you put in your stock and make it light again no with this I can just put in my rice straight away and you see the texture I don't know if you can see it yeah this is it let's taste it it's actually quite nice way to I don't have to put in water you know mm -mm -mm. okay cover it put this on low heat it's actually where it is is okay so yeah wait for it to cook so let's See how this is looking right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah. this is how it should look. This is the color. This is the color. Well, if you have like a a dark red tomatoes, it's gonna be a little darker than this. But this is how it should look. I don't know if you can see it. This is how it should look, and it is cooked. If you don't like your rice, right, huh? You just have to sprinkle a little water on it, but hmm, perfect too. So I'm just gonna put some of the vegetables on there, stir it, and leave it on the fire for like three minutes, and then stir it again, and voila, we are done. Okay, so this is my carrot. You know how fried rice, when you want to make fried rice, you have to like um, uh, fry the vegetables first. This is not how you do it here. So I have my carrots, my green pepper, not a lot of that. Yeah. I have my spring onion, the green part, not the white part. Spring onion in there. That's all that. And I'm going to add peas to it, just a little, not a lot. So I'm not really a peas fan, so just a little of that. Yeah, let's just put that here, just to give it color. Okay. Now let us give this a good stir. You know the rice is a little full for the saucepan, but we still going to stay. Let's push it in. Love the leg. Let me show you how it looks like before I actually cover it. Can you see? Can you see it? Yes, this is how it looks like. Okay. So we're just going to cover it for like three minutes. And then, you know, let it be on low heat because you don't want it to burn. Three minutes and then we are done with our food. So let's see. I think our three minutes is up. Yeah, it's, it looks soft actually. Let me take the card because that's the hardest of them all. Yeah, 
yeah, I mean the right texture. It's actually soft, you can bite into it, it's chewy. Yeah, I think this is okay. Plus, I'm very hungry, so I don't know if I should eat. Yeah. keep saying even though you're gonna eat in the house you're not taking it anywhere it's always important to make it look pretty I have my fresh basil I'm just gonna use that to kind of sure. and voila you have your Spanish rice okay so don't forget to subscribe give me a thumbs up and leave your comments in the comment section hope you try it at home and enjoy it like the way i'm going to enjoy this food right now so you can eat this with any meat of your choice uh, or you can eat it with vegetables if you are a vegetarian slash vegan okay so see you next time bye